Hey guys, it's Ken here from Shop3D.ca. Welcome back to another product feature. Today I have with me the Ultimaker Factor 4. This is Ultimaker's first industrial quality printer, so let's dive in. Let's start with the Ultimaker's robust frame. As you can see, this is a big printer, and it's pretty heavy too. It's gonna take about three to four guys to lift this right up here. The best thing about it is its build quality. It is made for industrial use, so you can expect an all-metal frame with steel and glass, and the interior is triple insulated, so it can maintain the temperature of the chamber as best as possible. Not only that, this is built to withstand the rigors of an industrial environment. As with most Ultimakers, it comes with a dual extruder head. Now this is a little bit different because the Factor 4 comes with direct extrusion, whereas in the older S series, we have a Bowden system. Now let's talk about this new design for this extrusion head. It's dual extruder, so therefore you have two materials that can go into either slot one or two, and this head is completely redesigned as a direct drive head. Now with additional cores, like DD cores, it can actually reach over 340 degrees, which is much hotter than the previous 300 degree limit. And if we were also gonna look down here, we still have the automated material system. I'm gonna open that up for you. Not only will this maintain the humidity of our filaments inside, but it'll also let you feed each of those filaments either into extruder one or two. It'll detect what materials are loaded if, by RFID, if you have Ultimaker materials. And if you finish one roll of filament, it can automatically switch over to the next one. As you can see on the screen here, it shows a, a much larger display. It's a seven inch display, and it shows us all of the different filaments that have been loaded onto the printer. So you can see that there's PETG in slot A, breakaway filament in slot B, and that's because it's detecting the RFID on the Ultimaker materials underneath. I want to spend a little bit of time talking about why this printer is industrial grade. Industrial grade means maximum uptime, and that means even when you do have to service it, that we are taking this printer out for the least amount of time as possible. And that's why Ultimaker designed the H gantry system. The whole H gantry here, with the print head and the rails, can actually be removed with just a couple of screws, and you can take it out for maintenance extremely easily. That's never been available before. Secondly, the modular systems in this printer are easily user serviceable and replaceable. You can actually access all of the internals of the AMS from the back of the printer just by removing a panel. And different parts can be swapped out just by screwing and unscrewing each of those parts, making this printer ready for industrial use. So let's talk about a brand new feature for the Factor 4 that's not available in any other printer that we've used. And this is requested by the most demanding industrial users out there, and that is print process reporting. The Ultimaker now has sensors inside to detect flow rate, uh, temperature changes, and print speed. So, not only that, it's gonna put it all into a report for you so that you can generate reports for quality assurance for each print that you do, so you have confidence that your print is printed up to spec. Now, if you do run into problems, this report will come in extremely handy because it'll let you see where the problems took place, whether, for example, someone opened the door and we saw a drop in temperature, or if there was something in the design that caused uh, a problem with the print. So this report allows you to have the confidence that most industrial users demand with each print from their Factor 4. So let's talk about some of the core competencies of the Factor 4. With this robust printer, you can expect improved build quality. And that's because with the new direct drive head, you can expect a shorter distance from the filament to the nozzle. Secondly, this chamber also maintains a heated chamber inside up to 70 degrees Celsius. We also have a large filter up here. This HEPA filter will filter out 98% of all particles printed within your printer. So if you're printing ABS, it's gonna be great for this printer. Finally, with the material handling station down here, it's gonna maintain the humidity of your filaments at a proper state, so that if you're printing hydroscopic filaments such as nylon or PVA, it's gonna print perfectly on the factor four. Why don't we dive into some of the internals of the Factor 4 and see what makes this machine so special. So I'm actually gonna open the door right now so I can show you some of the internals, but as you can see that there's a sensor on the door and it's actually gonna pause our print. So here we go. As you can see, an alert came up and in just a moment, it's gonna start pausing the print. 
There we go. Now I'm closer to the printer now and you can hear it quite a bit louder and I can tell you there's quite a bit of heat coming off of the printer and that's because the chamber is actively temperature controlled to up to 70 degrees Celsius. Great for printing with ABS and hotter materials. I can now show you the flex build plate. As you can see, it's a flexible build plate. So you can just take it out of your printer once your print is done, give it a bend and your print will pop off. Now this newly redesigned gantry is super strong and robust and that's gonna allow the printer to print even faster and because of the rigid frame, you're gonna see improved precision on your prints as well. Finally, we still have a great monitoring camera here where you can monitor your, your prints live on Digital Factory. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close the door and it's gonna resume the print. So here we go. As you can see, the alert has now gone away and in just a moment, once the chamber starts heating up and getting back to the temperature it should be, it'll start resuming the print. Now it's important to note that because we have print process reporting, that when I did this, it's gonna report on my graph that there was a quick drop in temperature. And that was because I personally disrupted the print. This is great information if you wanna keep your printing consistent and you wanna to prove to your clients that all of your prints are up to spec. Now industrial users demand reliability from their printers and that's why the Factor 4 has built in closed loop flow compensation to make sure that it has consistent flow throughout the entirety of the print. The temperature also remains extremely consistent because the fans are also closed loop as well. All of these factors bring the Factor 4 to the top. Now I've talked a lot about accuracy, reliability and precision on the Factor 4. What does that actually translate to in real life? Well, it's actually a plus or minus 0.2 millimeter dimensional accuracy. That's pretty darn good. Now, of course, it would be missed if I didn't talk about the big red button staring us in the face right over here. Of course, industrial applications mean safety. And for that, we need to have a big red stop button just in case something goes wrong. All you have to do is push the button. I don't want to do it right now because it'll kill my print, but here we go. That about sums up the great features of the Ultimaker Factor 4. This is a printer that's made for industrial applications. So if you have a factory and you want to add additive to your mix to print 24 seven, then this is the right printer for you. If you want to see this printer in person, we now have a demo here at our Mississauga showroom at shop3d.ca. That about sums it up for me. Get it today at shop3d.ca.